हेलो एवरीवन अस्सलाम वालेकुम दिस इज मोहम्मद हुजैफा वसीम वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल हैक टेक दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ प्लेलिस्ट हैक टेक इंजीनियरिंग इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिजाइन अ ट्रांसमिशन लाइन मॉनिटरिंग एंड फॉल्ट डिटेक्शन सिस्टम फॉर एन ओवरहेड ट्रांसमिशन लाइन दैट इज कैपेबल ऑफ मॉनिटरिंग ट्रांसमिशन लाइन लोड करंट एंड डिटेक्टिंग ऑल फोर टाइप्स ऑफ फॉल्ट्स इन ट्रांसमिशन लाइन and finding their locations and distance using gps and display these result on lcd and arduino iot cloud dashboard with alert message on iot cloud dashboard messenger here we also use four relays to work as a circuit breaker that isolates or break the transmission line during the fault and a buzzer that gives an alarm for alert so watch this complete video i will explain you to the complete hardware circuit diagram working simulation and code step by step in detail firstly let's we go to run and test this system when we supply three phase power to the input of step down transformers at the starting of transmission line to transmit it and 5 to 12 volt dc power to the arduino and other sensors then the system is started there are total 5 possible cases in which first case is no fault during the no fault situation firstly relays close the circuit and power is transmitted to the load through the transmission line remember that here the load is consist of three red green and blue leds then the current sensor start taking readings because there is no fault so all the values of the current is less than pick up current noted that here pick up current means the value of the current after which current is considered as fault current and relay will open and isolate the system for example we set the pick up current 5 ampere so if our load consume less than 5 ampere there is no problem but if our load consume greater than or equal to 5 ampere due to any fault or overloading it considered as fault current and relay will open or circuit breaker trip and isolate the system so during no fault lcd display no fault and all the load current will display on arduino iot cloud This is the interface of Arduino IoT Cloud in which first box display current in line 1 second box display current in line 2 the third box display current in line 3 fourth box shows the type of fault and distance of fault location from the control station and the last box gives the google map link that locate the fault location this data is also be sent on this messenger as an alert message so here during no fault it display only load current with no fault then the second case is single line to ground fault so i shot line 1 red with white ground wire at 8 km to create a single line to ground fault in this situation the system detect current in line 1 red and current in ground wire is greater than pick up current so relays break or isolate the transmission line and buzzer is on for an alert and lcd display type of fault like here single line to ground fault then after a delay of 5 second it display in which line fault occur with providing their distance of fault location like here red is short with ground at a distance of 8 km then arduino iot cloud update their current values and display type of fault distance of fault location and google map link that locate the fault location and also send these messages for an alert then i reset the relay by using push button so relay is closed and current sensor is start taking readings if the system detect there is no fault so relay will remain closed and lcd display no fault 
the third case is line to line fault so i shot line 1 red with line 2 green at 6 km to create a line to line fault in this situation the system detect current in line 1 red and current in line 2 green is greater than the pickup current so release break or isolate the transmission line buzzer is on for an alert and lcd display type of fault like here line to line fault then after a delay of 5 second it display in which line fault occur with providing their distance of fault location like here red is short with green at a distance of 6 km then again Arduino IoT cloud update their current values and display type of fault distance of fault location and google map link that locate fault location and also send these messages for an alert the fourth case is double line to ground fault so i shot line 1 red and line 2 green with white ground wire at 4 km to create a double line to ground fault then i reset the relays so relays closed and current sensor start taking readings in this situation the system detect current in line 1 red current in line 2 green and current in ground wire is greater than the pickup current so relays break or isolate the transmission line buzzer is on for an alert and lcd display type of fault like here double line to ground fault then after a delay of 5 seconds it display in which line fault occur with providing their distance of fault location like here red and green is short with the ground at 4 km of distance. Similarly again Arduino IoT cloud update their current values and display type of fault, distance of fault location and google map link that locate fault location and also send these messages for an alert. The fifth and last case is three phase fault. So I shot line 1 red, line 2 green and line 3 blue with each other at 2 km to create a three phase fault. Then I reset the relays so relays closed and current sensor start taking readings. In this situation the system detect current in line 1 red, current in line 2 green and current in line 3 blue is greater than the pickup current so relays break or isolate the transmission line buzzer is on for an alert and lcd display type of fault like here three phase fault then after a delay of five seconds it display in which line fault occur with providing their distance of fault locations like here red green and blue is short with each other at a distance of two kilometer Similarly, again Arduino IoT Cloud update their current values and display type of fault, the distance of fault location and Google map link that locate the fault location and also send these messages for an alert. Then I copy this fault location link and search on web browser so it give me fault location then I click on the direction so it gives us a distance of 2.5 km noted that here the displacement of only 2 km which is also displayed on the lcd here it adds 0.5 km for the possible route to reach the fault location this is the complete working of this project so without wasting time let's we go to code simulation and circuit diagram this is the complete circuit diagram of the transmission line fault detection system. So I will explain to you this complete diagram with hardware design step by step in detail after showing some simulations. So let's first look at the simulations. These are the simulations of the transmission line fault detection system which I have done on Proteus before going on hardware. Here you can see that I simulate all four types of fault at different locations and these results are similar to the hardware result.
After achieving desired results, we built hardware through this methodology. Therefore, let's we go on hardware. So I will explain to you the complete hardware design using a circuit diagram in details. First, we took a 4 by 2 feet cardboard sheet. Then we took 3 12 volt 800 mA step down transformers to step down the 220 volt into 12 volt and mark the point to hold for 220 volt input wires of transformers and stuck these transformers on board using glue. Then common the all neutral wire of transformers by connecting with each other at primary or input site for making star or Y connections. And this common neutral wire is directly connected with the neutral of input 3 phase power supply. And all the phase wire of transformer is individually connected with the input phases of 3 phase power supply through 5 to 10 ampere circuit breaker for protection as shown in this diagram. Then we took 4 ACS712 current sensors and connect them with the output of transformers in series. Here remember that the output of transformers is also in the star or Y connection. After that I took 4 single channel relay module and connect them with the output of current sensor coming from the transformer. Afterward, I common all the ground and VCC of all current sensor and relay modules. Then I took a 16 by 2 LCD display and Arduino Uno and make connection like this. After that I make a transmission tower by using ice cream sticks. Then I took 10 ohm 5 watt resistor for making the transmission line by connecting 4 resistors in series at each line and consider that there is a resistance of 10 ohm after every 2 km of distance and power is supplied at the start of the transmission line from the output of the relays coming from transformers and a load of 3 LEDs is connected at the end of the transmission line. After that, I connect a 5 volt DC supply positive terminal with all common VCC and a negative terminal with all common ground and a push button is connected at digital pin number 6 of Arduino. Then I took node MCU for uploading the data on Arduino IoT Cloud and GPS module GPSNEO6M for finding the fault location coordinates and making connection like this. Noted that here I made serial communication between node MCU and Arduino Uno by using pin number T5 and D6 of node MCU with digital pin number 9 and 10 of Arduino Uno. <laughs> At the last, I connect a piezo buzzer at pin number 13 and all the out pins of the current sensors are connected with the analog pin of Arduino A0 to A3 and also common all the in pins of relay module and connect with the digital pin number 7 of Arduino and providing a 3 phase power supply at the input of the circuit breaker. 
After this complete setup, I print some tags and images on sticker paper and tag each line according to their sequences. The last thing I explain to you is programming. But before that, I am going to explain to you some basic concept which I used to program this system. As we know that resistance of the conductor can be calculated as R is equal to rho L divided by A. Here specific resistance rho is a property of any conductive material that is constant for all conductors. A is an area of the conductor which is also constant for the conductors and L is the length of the conductor. As here resistance is directly proportional to the length. It means that by changing the length of a conductor resistance will also be changed. According to Ohm's law current is equals to voltage divided by resistance. Here voltage of transmission line is constant. So current is inversely proportional to resistance. This means that when the resistance of the transmission line is changes due to the change of the length in the transmission line according to their fault location then the fault current will also be changed. So we calibrate this fault current to find the distance of fault location in our program. Remember that I consider resistance instead of impedance because I neglect inductance of transmission line in our prototype system. This is the basic or simplest code that I write for Proteus simulation. So I will give you overview of this coding and provide you complete code for this project in description. In this code initially I declare some libraries and define variables. Then in the white setup I print transmission line fault detection system on LCD when the system start. Then before going on white loop it will go on these four function which I write for all four current sensor that read the analog pin values coming from current sensor and send it on white loop. This is for current sensor 1, this is for current sensor 2, this is for current sensor 3 and this is for fourth current sensor. Then in white loop all these value coming from current sensor are converted into current ampere RMS. Then I apply some conditions on these currents like that when any of the current M RMS is greater than zero. So clear the screen and find a type of fault and print on the screen. Like when all three phases of current is greater or higher than pickup current and almost equal to each other. It means three phase fault. Then when any two phases higher with the ground or earth, it means double line to ground fault. And when any two phases higher without earth or ground wire, it means line to line fault. And if any single phase is higher with ground or earth, it means single line to ground fault. After a delay, it prints tags of lines in which fault occur like when M's RMS1 and M's RMS2 are higher. It means fault occur in the red and yellow phases wire. After that, it calibrates the distance of fault location according to fault current values. In such a way, higher the fault current means lower the fault distance. Like when the current is greater than or equal to 135 means fault distance at 2 km when current between 66 and 135 means fault distance at 4 km when current is between 45 and 66 means fault distance at 6 km similarly when current is between 35 and 45 means fault distance at 8 km Noted that I did calibration for three phase fault separately on complete code for hardware which I will provide you in the description. Because fault current in three phase fault is higher even in long distance. After uploading this code on Arduino Uno I create Arduino IoT Cloud dashboard for displaying results and upload this code on Node MCU. 
and communicate it with Arduino Uno using serial communication. After uploading, I already run and test this system at the start of video. I hope you learned many things from this project. If you have any query, so feel free to write in the chat box. And if you want help in any project related to electrical, electronics, Arduino for your university or college projects, or any professional industrial project like industrial automation based on PLC, SCADA or any other designing project. So contact us on this email address. And if you want to learn more about electrical, electronics and Arduino project and other engineering knowledge in an easy way. So like, follow, subscribe this channel and share it with your friend and also press the bell icon for notification. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Till then, take care.